All right, so today we have a fire team, Arma fire team, and uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to program the endpoints on the servo. So this is a remake video for somebody because you guys wanted more information, which is fine. I don't mind doing that. All right, so the first thing you need to do is you elevate your front tires. You want them off the ground so that there's no binding, no catching on anything. So that's the first step. And of course you want to connect your battery. Again, I'm running an amp meter, not necessary. This is just to show the draw on the servo for those more advanced people that are curious about it. First thing, so this, the dual rate knob has to be set full counter, uh, full clockwise. Now, if you go left, your, your travel is very limited. So you wanna go full right, which will give you more travel on the transmitter. Okay, so, Make sure it's full right. You're gonna hold reverse and your transmitter to the right and then power it on. Keep holding it and then you're gonna turn on the speed controller. And then once it's on, you can let go of both the throttle and the steering wheel. Now to adjust the servo, you're gonna use the A and B buttons. So when you go left, what you want to look for is, if you can see the servo here, there's a servo mount. And usually when the tires stop traveling, you should be fine and it shouldn't keep pulling on the servo mount or anything. It should be nice and easy on both directions. So I'm gonna set the adjustment off just so I can show you. So when you go left, this moves this wheel one way, I mean the travel one way and this move to travel the other way so I'm gonna over travel it now you can see the servo house the servo mount moving so that's overextended the tires are still moving but it's overextended and the reason you can tell is because I'm drawing nearly one amp just by doing that so it's drawing one amp and then if I go to the right, again, you can go this way and that way. You want to do it to where there's no movement on that servo mount. So I don't see travel on the servo mount and it's shown by giving me 0.24 amps, which is idle on this speed controller. So again, I'm gonna go left and I'm drawing one amp. So I'm gonna lower this to where it's not pulling on the housing. And that looks about right. And that's about 0.28 amps. So I'm right there. Now I have an amp meter, so I'm cheating a little. So this will give me more fine tuning so I can see it right there, 0.24, and that's my setting for this particular RC. But it's close enough even having just a little bit of draw. So you can see to the right, 0.24 amps, and all the way to the left, point, well, 0.26, which is close enough. So to me, that's it. Again, the point is not to have any pool on this servo mount when you're fully extended in either direction. And it's not pulling uh, on the servo saver either. So, and then to program it, you're just gonna hit the power button and the power button on your speed controller. So there you go, and you can test it of course. So we have right and then we have left. Now, once you have entered the program mode, I would also recommend setting up your speed controller again. That's pretty simple. Hold the set button, press the power button. You'll see the speed controller blinking red. I don't know if you can see it from here. Now it's blinking. So this is neutral, you'll hit the set button. Full throttle, you'll hit the set button. Full reverse, you'll hit the set button. And then let go. And now it's programmed. And that should do it for you.
Thanks for watching.